We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. And black as can be. Ah. This is the month of black history that they have uh, condensed us down to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's uh, crazy. But we're here on Jerry Bell's R&B Soul Classics right. right here at LA Talk Live. We're here in the studio with uh, my co-host, co-co-host, mm-hmm. uh, Tosh I Said I Said. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And we're here with the grasshopper. He's trying to start off a fight already, which he's not <laughs> going to win Don't with the Shaka Khan's Do You Like What You Feel, oh, y'all. Yeah. Well, but, uh, I played this for two reasons. I got to say real quick, if I could jump in. Hmm. One is because this is always a good song to get things Popping always, number one, and number two, to commemorate the return of the lovely, vivacious Tosh Osset yeah, back to yeah. the Jerry Bell's Soul RB Classic Show. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Thank Jerry's you. got Thank my other you. table with the audience on the other end, so I'm okay. just gonna have to give you some. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd goes wild, you know, he's got excuses yeah, anyway. You know. yeah. Oh, yeah. When it comes time for me to play my end, you know, we're gonna see how much, it's yeah, we, yeah, okay. we, we, we definitely got. Got something for you this week, pal. Nah. All right, all right. <laughs> no, you know, he likes to sabotage. I think we got it all together for you, Grant. That's a good one, though, Shaka. That's a that's a nice thing. That's yeah. that's busting oh, up yeah. in the joint with a song right there. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Well, not only that, you know, you you complained once before about our um about our music and said that we didn't represent enough women. Yes. So I'm going to hold it down for the sisters today. So whatever mm-hmm. the Grandmaster would like to proffer okay. in the way of a battle, I'm going to come back and let the ladies do my fighting what for me today. Okay. Right? Okay. Word, word it up on that. Uh, so we, we, we starting to fight out right now, Jack. Yeah. It is mm-hmm. Black History Month, though. Let us be mindful mm-hmm. that it is Black History right. Month, so they say, right? Mm, that's what they mm-hmm. say. Right. And uh, Can't we... Can't believe everything they say. To still take a moment <laughs> out to commemorate all of our black heroes. That's right. Not just yes. this month, but any month yes. that we so choose to do so. Yes. Uh, so I figure we're going to run Black History Month all year all right. here right. on right. the Talk Live Broadcast yeah. Network. It's going to be Black History Month all year long. That's right. That's what's happening. Who can better as represent a, than the Jerry Bell Show, right? right. right. And as a matter of fact, too, uh, this is the 50th year anniversary mm-hmm. of the independence of Kenya. Wow. wow. This is 50 years. Yes, big up to Kenya, wow, stand okay. strong, no doubt. Yeah, indeed. Right. And, uh, and big ups to the young lady who, uh, who won the uh, Golden Globe for 12 Years of Slavery, mm. and she's up for an Oscar now. Okay. Pretty, pretty little black sister. Chocolate, oh, yeah. chocolate thing. Literally. She's young, a younger lady. Yeah, you haven't yeah. seen 12 Years of Slavery? Oh, no. you got to see it, girl. What's wrong with you? I just got tired of slave mm. this, slave no, 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 that. No, 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 no. You this, can't get that. tired. I was tired of that. No, you can't get tired. I want to hear about the kings and queens no, of, before the but, slavery but, stuff. But listen to me. Mm. In order to get to that, mm-hmm. You have to retract yourself a little bit, you know, so you can see the legacy, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, of what they did to the kings and queens mm-hmm. of our, and the princes and princesses, you know. No, no doubt I will support, yeah. you know. So definitely you need to see that movie. Mm-hmm. It is a very wrenching uh, mm-hmm. film. And uh, I give it 12 to 31 ups. Wow. 12 to 31 thumbs up. Yes, indeedy. Mercy, mercy me. You know. <laughs> Got a side with Tosh. I mm-hmm. too have not seen mm-hmm. Twelve Years a Slave. Mm. 
Mm. I got to say that uh, I wasn't all that impressed with the casting. Oh, but you got to see him, though. I I didn't. I I know the actor. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know him from other movies. I know he's a great actor, but Mm -hmm. I just couldn't feel it. It seemed like another. uh, When you when you see it. Uh, and yeah. You, and you and yeah, you overst- my mind. yeah. When you see it and you understand the at- intensity of what is what's going on in the flick, mm-hmm. I mean it's because it, it, you know from my era mm-hmm. it brings back a lot of memories of when I was growing up in the South. You know? Well, let me ask you this: Did someone get killed in front of a child? Yeah. Uh, did someone get beat? <laughs> yeah, they did. Uh, Very did, badly. Did someone cry? Yeah. <laughs> did someone overcome? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I mean, we ain't never overcame. You know, I, it's funny. I was listening to Malcolm X, mm-hmm. uh, The Ballad of the Bullet, today, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, before I came here. And Malcolm was saying the same thing about, you know, we spend time singing too much around, talking about we mm-hmm. shall overcome, and we haven't. Everything that we claim to have overcome, we still coming with it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And um, until we decide to not sing that mm-hmm. and just do it, you know, then we are still considered to be slaves of the 21st century. Mm. Yes, you know, wow. this is from the mouth of the great black warrior Malcolm X. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful movie. Um, it really tells you the story of how and what they did, you know, and how they would kidnap. The brother was a free man and uh, and they, they, they conned him into coming to play his violin at a private function, which it was never a private function and they enslaved him. And, and like it's some, just some of that stuff, uh, someone was on the news and they made a comment that there was something like that was going on still today in different countries, mm-hmm. you know, with blacks where they'll con you to come in, have a drink, get you drunk, put stuff in your drink, make you think you're celebrating, mm-hmm. and then boom, you look up and you are enslaved on somebody's uh, dungeon or you wow. know, basement or someplace like that, you know. I can't wait. I got to check that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And let's just keep it real, Tosh. We're going to wait for it to come out on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we got a, we got a dude in the house. <laughs> We got this dude in the house with these dark glasses on, looking, thinking he's looking like Isaac Hayes, <laughs> that, you know, I'm going to punch him in the eye with my fingers. You know what I mean? Like the Three Stooges. <laughs> you know? Well, the gentleman you're referring to is no <laughs> other than Shock Kim Williams of the Shock Factor. Uh, Friday night, yeah. 8 p.m. He ain't shocking. Pacific Standard Time. I'm upset with you, here man. on L.A. Talk Live. I'm upset Friday. with you, man. What's up, Shock? Hey, man. <laughs> How could you miss... My Grammy party, dude. What's up? All three of y'all, well, we man. Went, I'm uh, like, I know uh, you were sick. Yeah, I can understand yes. it. But, but the, but the two of you guys. I've actually got a shot of you on the red carpet in front of the step and repeat. Man. Cameras, lights, action. A beautiful lady <laughs> uh, at your flank, and man, you're looking good. Right. Now that you've mentioned that, let me get Shock's mic hot. Let him make a comment or two about that. Go ahead, Shaq. Scorching, scorching, Mike. Uh, unfortunately, and scorching, once, Mike. Once again, you know, mm-hmm. being here with Jerry Bell, and it's so good to see you. You're looking see so you radiant, indeed, indeed. And, and Jerry looking like uh, one billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. it's a tag. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about a tag. Mm-hmm. I was un, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to look at it, I was working mm. here at LA Talk Live on a show. And <laughs> hey, he's working here. He's working yeah, here. What do you right, want? Yeah. Like we have a full orchestra, the <laughs> Philharmonic man. <laughs> but that suit looks really good, man. You yeah, you looking, looking really, mighty nice, there, Grandmaster. Awesome. I gotta say, hey, and brother, I came to represent. And yeah, seeing, and seeing that stamp and that right there. Well, let's not be pre- premature. Oh. About it. I, I don't even. We haven't even addressed this. You haven't even showed yet. it yet. For those of you who <laughs> tune in every uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. for Jerry Bell Soul R&B Classics, this is a very, very special Wednesday because because it precedes the uh, precedes the world-renowned Grammy Awards. Okay. Yes. Jerry Bell himself was recognized and commemorated along with. The Daz Band, the world famous Daz Band, by a beautiful portrait, or let's say a beautiful rendering that became a postage stamp 
that is soon to be in circulation, The Daz Band with Jerry wow. Bell Ta-da. by Nicolosi. <laughs> um, on the screen right now, you're seeing the original compilation of that gr- of that visual. It is the incredible hand of the artist Nicolosi who rendered that to what will soon be uh, beautifying and adorning the adorning the envelopes of many Americans throughout the country. Yes, indeed. Through the postal service, and you have so, to lick it. You know. Oh my God! So uh, congratulations, <laughs> Grandmaster. And indeed, Thank you, brother. <laughs> you see that in the background, folks. That's the stamp. Go to his Facebook page, Jerry Bell Daz, on Facebook. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. And you'll see some incredible shots of Jerry and Nicolosi yeah. unveiling wow. the stamp at the Grammys award party held just before the Grammys last week. Mm. You will see Jerry in full regalia as the true grandmaster that he is mm. in pictures that absolutely make him look like a GQ yeah. model. He's still well, got you, it, ladies and gentlemen. I got to say, thank boy, you, brother. Yeah. Some of them pictures I Give saw you in like, wow. This is, this is, that's he not, doing big things. Look at that guy. But you know what? It's I not, not going to take away from his spanking today. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. I think we, um, I don't know about today, uh, so, grandmaster. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, Sifu, wait. grandmaster Sifu. Yeah. Uh, yes, <laughs> I think we uh, got a collection of stuff that may outdo. Oh, you. we? Oh, well, are we in this now? You said, what you mean? <laughs> we? No, 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 it's okay. We, you uh, know, it takes me. two to get Jerry. <laughs> no, okay. listen. It don't oh, take okay. one. So you it know what? Two. It takes like three or four. You know, and you gotta have yeah. maybe you know, a, a you know, nuclear bomb. You know, they've been plotting all the time I've been gone. You know, yeah. but it's okay. But uh, are you well, ready? I plot the moment you leave the studio from the previous week. I'm gonna get him with this one next week. I'll be in the shower. I'm gonna get him with that one. Are right. you ready, brother? Are you I'm, ready I'm for in this? my crates, Daddy O? Okay, come on with it. Hey, brother. Oh wait, the cable's not working. My bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, I can't, yeah. I can't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, we got to do this. Oh, no, I'm only kidding. Sounding clear and true as yes, always. Indeed. Let's let this and rock. the sounds that you are hearing is that of the lovely voice of Anita Baker, y'all. Ain't there something I can give in exchange for everything you give to me? Read my mind, you make me feel just fine when I think my peace of mind is out of reach. The scales are sometimes unbalanced. And you bear the weight of all that has to be I hope you see that you can lean on me And together we can calm the stormy shoes When love's so strong and so unselfish And I tell you now that I made a bond I tell you now that I made a vow. I'm giving you the best that I've got. Honey, everybody's got opinions about the way they think our story's gonna end. Some folks feel it's just a superficial thrill. Everybody's gonna have to think again. We've lost so strong. So I'm gonna keep on giving you the best that I've got, baby. They don't bother me. Said I'm gonna keep on giving you the best that I've got. Listen, baby. Yes, indeedy, y'all. Now tell me that is not a taste of class. 
That's nice. That's What's nice. Anita? That's nice. Baker, yo. You that's know nice. what I mean? I had that's to. Nice. Uh, that's cool. I had to come at him. You know, look at him. They both saying that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Look, and and and, and the music playing, they melting over there like a candle. <laughs> See, that's what Anita Baker does to you. Right. She puts you in that mood and make you lay back and think. Where is Anita? Where, Where is she's, Anita? She's doing concerts. Still doing her thing. Really? She's yeah. out still okay. on the concert circuit, yeah. Wow. Where she is. She's out there doing her thing, y'all. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anita Baker, right here on mm. Jerry Bell's R&B Soul Classics to tantalize your mind. He went from celebrity <laughs> to radio <laughs> dude in... Uh, uh, well, see, I'm a chameleon like, like that, brother. Yeah. You know, I know how to blend. Jack. I can tell by that suit coat you're wearing today. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's indeed, man. I don't know what color that coat is. Yes, yeah. Look, he colorblind. All you know, the lights know. reflecting off it. You know, he over there shining. All right. So, He's a star. Uh, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to Jerry Bell's R&B Soul Classics, exclusively here on LA Talk Live every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Uh, as you might know, when we embark on this show, we, Jerry and I, have this music battle. So he plays one, I play one. Mm-hmm. So I know that in the past, he's gotten off some good blows. Mm-hmm. Uh, gotten off um, some good blows. <laughs> but <laughs> so have I. Oh, and today's that. episode of this show <laughs> is celebrating the ladies because we want to commemorate the return of the beautiful Tosh I set uh, to, L- uh, to LA Talk Live and Jerry Bell's R&B Soul Classics. <sighs> Jerry got my cable. So, but the question remains mm-hmm. from the battle that we've had, I've got a little something for Jerry, especially from a special lady that he's going to really enjoy. Come on with okay. it. Why does it hurt so bad? <laughs> that question remains in the background of sounds Why of Whitney Houston. Wow. Let's that give it a listen. That's my baby there. Boy. We're celebrating oh, you today, Ty. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to try to cut yeah. you on this one. Too. Yeah, man. I ain't playing today. Let's <laughs> give it a listen and enjoy y'all. But I keep crying when I don't love you. So why does it hurt so bad? I thought I had let you go so why does it hurt me so? Gotta get you out of my head. It hurts so bad. Uh, it hurts so bad. Then. Man down, man down, 
Oh, please don't sing. I know that hurts. Yeah, you would blow, <laughs> back, you would blow the, you would blow the whole song. That hurts. Yeah, but, now, listen. That um, uh, that's a beautiful tune. I love yeah. Whitney. Is, gotta ride it out. You know what? Yeah, when I when out. I listen to, when I hear Whitney's voice, mm-hmm. there is, she she's one of the classic, uh, impeccable vocalist of females next to Gladys Knight mm. and uh, Aretha, you know, and, and uh, I mean, uh, you know, the beautiful voices like that. Um, she, it's, it touches you because when you, it, she and she's in her own little realm too. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Um, even with Gladys and, and, uh, and Aretha and, and, you know, the vocalists like that, they, they're, they're around her. You know what I mean? Because she's got her own little yeah. world, man. Yeah, and she's, she, she takes that to a whole nother level. Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> speaking of another level. Before we go there, before we go to that next level, <laughs> I, you're going to enjoy this. I'm, I'm only saying this yes, for sir. your satisfaction and enjoyment. Yes, sir. Last Friday, you know, I do a show every Friday right, right. called Speak On It. Got to have you on that show. You'd be all right on that show. Okay. 6 p.m. Pacific time on LA Talk Live. Speak on it. Speak O W N. It. Speak on it. Mm-hmm. Say it. Own it. Believe it. Mm-hmm. Real talk on that show. Okay. Oh. That's what it's all about. Cool. And man, talking about speaking on it, I got eviscerated last week between Counselor Stephen Burt and Shaquem Williams, who both berated me for the notion of even putting Beyonce anywhere oh, in the dialogue Come on, man. He with just blew Whitney it. Houston. He just blew it. So <laughs> now you can take us to another level and further educate oh, me. All right. Now I have to educate you very well. I am the Now, I want, you, I want you to take your pencil and paper out. Okay. You know what I mean? Because class is now in session, brother. Oh. Do we note it? Here we go. Listen up, very. Sh- listen up, brother. Standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Blue moon You knew just what I was there You heard me saying a prayer for Someone I really could care for And then there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms will ever I heard somebody whisper, please adore me. And when I looked, the moon had turned to gold. Blue moon. Now I'm no longer alone. Without a dream in my heart. Yes, uh, Grasshopper. I'm glad that you've been writing notes and <laughs> taking things down. You know, most for, astute Grandmaster. For those astute. of you uh, who do not know this voice, but that is the voice of Miss Ella Fitzgerald, the inimitable one herself. Yes, indeed, wow. no other voice like that. Um, wow. This is. Uh, the teacher of the vocal, you know, she breaks glasses when she hits certain notes. Oh, she does? Remember that commercial? Oh, you never saw the Memorex commercial from the 70s? Only oh, 21. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're right about that. Yeah, you would have that. <laughs> that commercial was so memorable to people from my era because it was one of the few times, first and foremost, you saw black folks on TV. Mm-hmm. And this is when your mama would call you off the street at night. Right. Uh, when Flip Wilson came on. Mm-hmm. You know, Bill Cosby was oh, on. Yeah. 
you'd run home to see a black face on TV. I heard stories of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she had a commercial <laughs> where, a Memorex commercial, where she literally shattered, shattered. a glass, a, a, really? a wine flute. Yeah. On TV, she is. The I thought real somebody deal. hit it with a BB gun. Well, maybe so. No, brother. Yeah, right. maybe. That's the real Memorex, Jack. Right. <laughs> so wow. we're gonna be taking a break, but I thought I would really, really go deep with you on this one, and I hope you can relate to this because yes, we kind of went outside the R&B soul genre. Mm-hmm. A little Nina Simone, Jerry Bell's soul R&B classics. We'll That's be right, right back. You're gonna like this That's one, right. Taj. Nina, Nina. Nina, That's my baby. It's yeah. Time to. And your gravity fails and negativity don't pull you through. Don't put on any airs when you're down on Rue Morgue Avenue. They've got some hungry women there and man, they'll really make a mess out of you. see St. Annie tell her thanks a lot I cannot move and my fingers are all in a knot and I haven't got the strength to get up and take another shot My best friend, the doctor, won't even say what it is I've got. Sweet Melinda, the peasants call her the goddess of gloom. She speaks good English. She invites you up into her room And you're so kind and careful Not to go to her too soon And then she takes your voice And leaves you howling at the moon or fame You can take one or the other Though neither of them are to be what they claim And if you're looking to get silly You'd better go back to from where you came Because the cops don't need you And man, they expect Hi, this is Donna Quarles, and I'm inviting you to join us every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. for a new show right here on LA Talk Live, The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. Join us as we discuss the topics that are relevant to today's generational leaders. So don't forget to tune in to The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People, every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. right here on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio r and Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hello world, how you living? This is Dee Brex, your host of the all-new rap project here on LA Talk Live. That's latalklive.com. Or you can find me on iTunes Radio in the R&B section. That's The Rap Project every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's Wednesdays at 7 p.m. West Coast Time. So don't be late. On The Rap Project, I will be playing the very best of rap and hip hop that goes beyond the ordinary. So connect with me, your host, D. Brax, The Rap Connoisseur, on The 
Rap Project every Wednesday at 7 right here on LATalkLive.com where we are more than just talk. Signed, sealed, and delivered all the way from the Stephen Mars Wonder Camp. No one better to do this other than his wife, Sherita, y'all. Oh, okay. One of my favorite all time female yeah, RB vocalists is Sarita. Yes, wow. Indeedy. Wow. So I have wow. to say, in response to this volley, mm-hmm. um, it seems the Grandmaster and I, as a humble grasshopper, are finally starting starting to mesh mentally, psychologically, and po- possibly <laughs> spiritually. <laughs> because I was in my Sarita okay. crates to fend to pull one of them Saritas on out. Really? But I said, well, let me just let him get his off first. Right. We're going to give this a listen. I'm going to respond. Okay. We have a guest coming in, so stay tuned. Enjoy this by Sarita Wright. All right. Signed, sealed, and delivered by Jerry Bell himself.
in the background, the sounds of the mighty, mighty Patty LaBelle. Yes, indeed, from Philadelphia. Come what may, you know, I had to represent the city with a little Patty. I could dig it, brother. What you think about that one, Tosh? Why am I not hearing you all of a sudden? Um, I guess if I turned your mic on, damn it, rookies. Hey, Tosh, <laughs> Tosh, he, he, look, he tried to sabotage us both. Oh, you know, not you, <laughs> Tosh. Never you, ma. <laughs> Never the Coco host. I almost host. didn't recognize Patty for a minute. You didn't notice yeah. it was Patty? Yeah, that was like, young Patty. Yeah. Oh, okay, young Patty. This is Patty LaBelle okay. and the Bluebells, Patty. Ooh, and okay. the sounds that you're hearing behind her it, is that of MFSB Orchestra. Really? Yes, indeed. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Amazing. a Gamble wow. Huff and Bell production. Yeah. Mm. Did I go deep there, Grandmaster? Can yeah. I get a little, little bit of props? I mean, you know, that's all right. Can ah, I, the can, 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 I, can, I, back at you. can I rise yeah, from a grasshopper <laughs> to like a bird? Yeah. No, no, no. You can't that be a bird. That was some deep digging right there. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. You can't rise from a grasshopper. I'll give well, you a stick figure. Well, I, 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 <laughs> I got to say, though, man, it's very seldom that I hear this song mm -hmm. that I don't cry. Wow. I swear, the lyrics of this song are so mm -hmm. deep and moving. And then the orchestration yeah. of you know, MFSB, just What is amazing. this song about? I was catching uh, bits and It was about of Rich. It. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> My evolution from grasshopper <laughs> to like a bird. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you guys yeah. are funny. It, 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 it's a song <laughs> about protecting one's loved ones. And again, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll send you the link to this. You can go back okay. and check this out. Okay. Or just go check it out on YouTube. Yeah, because I like to zone in on the, the song, lyrics. especially something I never heard. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's beautiful. i got to yeah. kind of marinate on that hey, one. You know, and it's called Come With Me. Oh, okay. Um, you brought in... Uh, you know your protege over here. You know, ah, the protege. Yeah, yeah. That is the incredible <laughs> Shaquem <laughs> Williams. That's your protege. He calls you a protege on my show because he thinks I need help all the time. Because you <laughs> need help. Shouts to my yeah. man Ibrahim out there yeah. on assignment this week. Uh, Couldn't whatever. make it this week. Whatever. He and, snowed uh, in on the East Coast somewhere uh, on his bicycle. On assignment, <laughs> and uh, he is normally here. To act as a fair and unbiased judge yeah, of the whatever. battle of music That's all I'm like. no, yeah, so between no, the grandmaster and myself, you said that you all prepared. <laughs> well, we did. Yeah, you we did, did say that. Well, I, I did say that, um, but I realized that Richard is not able to play from right. that list right now, so <laughs> I must okay. go into my corner right. uh, mm -hmm. and hide my and shield uh, myself to kick right. <laughs> <laughs> from the blows and body blows that you're going to uh, be throwing you, forward. And quite uh, frankly, I, uh, I think I'm doing a fine job for my library, but I do got to say, <laughs> man, if it wasn't for that cable, <laughs> shock, <laughs> him, <laughs> shock him loaded me up with some uh, incredible uh, uh, oldies, you, man. You are oh, so wow. lucky. Oh, Remember no, the really? Keeper, yeah, I oh. call him the crate digger. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's oh, how deep that's he goes. Yourself. For all of our listeners out there, tune in every Friday night, 8 p.m. Pacific, for the shock factor with mm -hmm. the one and only Shock Kim Williams. So, and he's also a Grammy oh. Award winning artist, and oh, yeah. as is Jerry Bell. So we're sitting at the table with music rolling. All right, all right. Let's Yay. Talk about so, it. so you, you, you. Just go behind my back, and you know, and, and you're gonna help me. You're gonna sneak on me, you know. Yeah, look, no, it's on. all good, brother. Yeah, you shouldn't feel bad. You should actually feel very, oh, no, very. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm I, excited, man. I, had this, I know least, he needs that kind of help. Yes, that's know? right. It had to be fair. Yes. At it least, least fair. you know, it wasn't. You know, come on. You have a library, and the people that you encountered throughout the years. Come, come on, brother. On. It's you know, it's incredible. Oh, Grandmaster, man. I don't know. He's starting to sound more like a sellout to me. Oh, right now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now hold on. Now. <laughs> so Let's we, take, go ahead, go ahead, Shock. Finish. No, I'm just saying. At least no. it, you know it takes two. You know, mm, come on, come on, kiss up to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bow down, kiss the it ring. It takes two to yeah. do no, no. knock Jerry down. Kiss my shiny jacket. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> kiss <laughs> my shiny robot <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? All right, now listen. Let's take a moment okay. out. We've got this absolutely gorgeous uh, sister, beautiful, beautiful who just woman. absolutely. Oh. Blessed our studio with her beauty and radiance. Oh, thank you. We'd like you to take a moment now. Jerry said you were going to be coming down. We ha we're going to treat you like a surprise guest. We know you have other business here in the studio of LA Talk Live. But tell our listeners about you and who you are. Let's start with your name. My name is Onyx. Closer Actually. to that mic, Onyx. Okay, can you hear me now? That sounds yeah. is, is that my radio voice? <laughs> that sounds right there? Yeah. All right. right. Radio Live, you got Onyx Monopoly on the line. Hey. Onyx Monopoly? <laughs> yeah, that's my name. Oh, word. Mm. That's, that's my name. Uh, tell I'm us a little bit about yourself. Rock, but a lot of money coming in. <laughs> yeah, I, I like her already, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How'd you meet the Grandmaster Jerry Bell? Um, I met him through a good friend, Amir. I met them at the Grammy party. Mm -hmm. You yes. must be special if you went to his party. 
Um, I didn't get to go. Oh well, yes. you know. <laughs> yeah. I I, I love it. Was, it was it was amazing. Yeah. Don't, we, don't get mad at me and throw me heard. under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any crates of music to dig in. So I'm gonna put a picture of Jerry on the red carpet up. I'm also gonna flash a picture of. Uh, the Daz Band photograph that became the stamp that's sitting behind Jerry there. Mm. Yeah, and Jerry, I yes. wish you could see the picture I'm putting up right now. Uh, this is going to be funny when you look back at the show. Okay. It's a young Jerry Bell, smooth, <laughs> debonair. Oh. <laughs> Did he have on the sequence jacket? No, not okay. me. Uh, <laughs> no more shiny jackets. No more shiny jackets. We got on the, the beige, <laughs> yeah, got yeah. On the beige double pressed piece oh, okay. with his little mini fro <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a table full of beautiful bevies. I'm just sitting there. Oh. It's just a beautiful group of people. Oh, wow. uh, Jerry, you can't see this picture, but I did pull it off your Facebook page. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. So then it's tell, a good me, tell us a little bit about this one. I know it. That, were that was at Rick James' party. Word. Oh, okay. you, that was you party with Rick James? Big. Yeah, it was Rick James' I'm birthday party. I'm going to have to watch party. it. Do you not know who that is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to watch you. I know, maybe you. I know you guys got a chance to meet. Maybe you, you don't really know this brother's oh, illustrious I, I, history. I, you know, he I, told you all about it, I'm sure. <laughs> no, you know, for people that are, you know, my age, 80s babies, we have something called Google, thank God. There you go. <laughs> you won't embarrass me with a smartphone and Google. Right. No, you right. won't. That's right. I can dig in the crate. Yeah. That's all right. right. <laughs> All right, so y'all met at the uh, the Grammy party mm -hmm. that yes. Jerry uh, conducted. Big ups to you from Nicolosi for that. He said you pulled it all together. It was, it was magnificent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very tasteful. He said it was blacknificent. Blacknificent. Black yes. And what else would it be with the red, black, and green <laughs> oh. you know, star-spangled <laughs> banner behind us? That's right. <laughs> yeah. oh. That's the real American flag. I, I haven't yeah. seen that before. Yeah. 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 No. It's, uh, it's a regular right. Only prop. here on the Jerry Bell's R&B Soul Classic. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, Onyx Monopoly, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Utah. Her mother's womb. Utah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good answer. Oh, that guy. Good answer. From Utah. <laughs> yes. I'm you have Utah. such unique beauty. Does that mean you have some Indian in your blood? I have a lot of things in my blood. Mm -hmm. uh, the milkman, yeah. insurance man, all that kind of stuff. You know what? That's um, what my parents used to tell me. Yeah, well, I know you did. The well, lies you tell. Milkman. I'm not throwing my mother under the bus like Thank that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You obviously have um, some, you look like you have some Native American in you. I, I do. We yes. have Blackfoot and Cherokee. We it do. Looks mm. uh, my, my father, uh, my grandfather on my father's side is Sicilian and Israeli. My grandmother is wow. Persian Lebanese. And um, my mother is African and Native American. Wow. Yeah, you so got 50-50, nice black yeah. and... and uh, I am the melting pot. Asian, yeah. yeah she got yeah. some yeah. bell right next to it. Okay. I should be the ambassador for the United Nations, yes. <laughs> right. You could well be. Tell us yes. a little bit about yourself. What do you do for a living? Or not for a living, but tell us what you do. What's your specialty? For a living? <laughs> yeah. I take my medication, take care of the kids. <laughs> um, I'm about to light some up in about the next break. You need some of that? Oh, my bad. Wrong medication. You're trying to get me kicked up out of the church. <laughs> I leave everything I do behind closed doors at Grammy parties. Very good. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> We'll talk about What's that at the Grammy like party? Stage at the Grammy party, party. party. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right. Right. Unless Rick James is there. All right. Um, wow. I am a. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I am a commodity com uh, commodity and entertainment consultant. Really? Yes. And okay. we are in production for my talk show called Hooked on Onyx: Lifestyles Ooh, of oh, the I Wise and Wealthy. Love the name, wow. Hooked on Onyx. A talk show where? Um, actually, it'll be here in Los Angeles. Okay. Yes. Do you have Have you chosen a network yet? Um, no, we're actually not a trick talk question live. either. Not not a trick question. LA Talk either. Live. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, right now I'm focusing on remaining independent. Right. Uh, you know Hollywood. When sure. When ever someone wants to throw money at you, it comes at a cost. Your shirt. Uh, pull it down a little. Pull your skirt up a little bit. Do a video. Porn, preferably. You know. <laughs> just like no, not today. So we're not getting any of that today. No, you're not. not. <laughs> no, Gary? Never. You will never get right, any hey, of that. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> never, my never, soul never, never not gonna let, let me pull that one up. Right. My no, you're never gonna get. Video someone threatened to put on YouTube. Right. There you go. All right. So it's a, is it TV or is it internet based? Uh, the goal is for television. Right, uh, right now, uh, I want to stay internet based. You know, because mm -hmm. when the numbers are up on the internet, the sponsors based. come in. That's right. Knocking yeah. on your door. Mm -hmm. You know. So I've done really well on social media. Unfortunately, uh, it's public, so I can talk about it. Okay. I had over three million followers. Um, and then you got whoa. hacked. I didn't get, well, my Instagram did get hacked. Okay. Uh, but you have to watch who you date when in the industry. Oh, People are out to get not you. not a yeah. hater. And so they posted. And I, I talk about it. I don't care. We all make accidents in, in this entertainment yeah. industry. You mm -hmm. have to learn to own your mistakes. Otherwise, mm -hmm. people are going to try to blackmail you with them. But they posted my DUI, me being Mormon and from Utah. 
I lost uh, quite a bit of followers. Uh, but you really? know what? It's a mistake. I'm human. Mm-hmm. Right. I didn't start drinking and cursing until I was 30. Come right. on, give me some credit. Right. <laughs> so what, like six months ago you started drinking and cursing? <laughs> <laughs> that always gets them, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Thank well, you. You know, I... I I've, you are a Mormon. <laughs> I, I am. I am wow. on BS. Interesting. Yes, and I am black, as you can see. That's and wow. from Utah. That's a and from Utah. show in and of itself, exactly. my sister. So, mm-hmm. you know, yes, if you ever want to air one here, you, you need to let us know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, so, um, but now you're rebuilding. Yes, I am. Thus the reference. Tell me what you, what's your job title again? Uh, I'm a commodity and entertainment consultant. And see, I, when you say commodity, first thing I thought I was going to hear second was broker. Commodities broker. I'm not a broker. Right. Commodities and entertainment. And it I've, doesn't stop there. I mean, you know, my attorneys gave me that title because when people say, you know, what do you do? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm the, I'm the hookup chick. I'm the link. Be, I'm the link that pulls the <laughs> chain together. Right. I'm the woman who connects the dots and I get paid for it. So if you're going to sell a house, I'm going to get paid from the seller, the buyer, the agent and the lender. Mm. <laughs> like, and it's not traditional commodities that you're referring to, is it? Um, yes and no. OK, um, because I, I the popularity of my name came from uh, a gentleman owning uh, the world's biggest, n- known to the world, the biggest cut Alexandrite. It was twice. It is twice the size of the one on display at the Smithsonian, and I have exclusive rights to market and sell the stone. Um, it's the value is in excess of 250 million. And um, for the uninitiated, and Alexandrite, did you say? Alexandrite. Alexandrite. Yes, what, it no, makes the diamond look like a food stamp or EBT card. Um, it mm-hmm. is the stone that was put into the crowns of royalty. Um, very hard to come across. It's a stone you hold up into the light and it changes colors. Colors, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, mm-hmm. And I was fascinated. I didn't know what it was. Um, mm-hmm. I found it. Uh, my one of my friends. He's also a gym a jeweler, and he took me to a gym show. And mm-hmm. he took me over to the GIA president in Utah. Mm-hmm. When he told them what I was doing, they laughed. And, you know, they didn't take me serious until I, until I pulled up the GIA report. Because this gentleman was trying to sell me something that wasn't even a fraction of a carrot for $30,000. Wow. And, I, I, you know, I was still learning about the stone. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when jewelers find out that you're serious and this is the real deal because it is something that is unheard of, mm-hmm. they their mouth, it just falls onto the ground. And then the gentleman who cut it um, from Sri Lanka happens to be known as the Jim King. He has cut mm. some of the world's most magnificent. I, I think he, you know, the little blue heart, the blue diamond heart. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one that cut that stone as well. Mm. No, the and Titanic? The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm um, I'm still learning. I have people from all over the world um, throwing these big rocks on my lap. Um, and I and can't, those are all Alexandrites? No, they're throwing okay. things, opiates, uh, just sapphires, things I have never seen before in my life. Wow. Um, did you mention opiates? I'm sorry. I'm op- my bad. <laughs> I, I did say opiates. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm wrong opiates. <laughs> just thinking about this. You asked me how I stay alive, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alexandrites, right? Is that what they're called? Yes, Alexandrites. Alexandrites. Now, are there, is there, I might have missed this part. Is there a mine? Are there lots of them, or Russia is there just a few and Sri Lanka? Out there? Um, you can't find them everywhere. Right. A lot of the, the stones that I deal with, or that are be thro- being thrown on my lap uh, or on my desk, they're very rare, or they come from um, very rare specific places. Okay. You know, it's not like the diamond where you can right. get it from everywhere. Um, it's. I mean, I'm learning. I'm learning every single day about the, a new the, stone. Um, the Alexandrite also can be found in the deepest part of the Congo. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm familiar with Russia shovel. and Sri Lanka. Uh, you know, I need to dig a little deeper to find out. Yeah. Where they, I know the mm. one, I know Russia. Um, if you, we we haven't found anyone that has had this stone. There's one out there, but no one knows where it's at, wow. where to locate it. But that one is worth over $500 million for um, a half a carat, if I'm mm. not mistaken. Mm. Um, but this one is the next best thing. Wow. I'm I'm only I'm one of uh, I think five people in the world that's actually held it and one of two that have been uh, photographed with it. And which uh, hand did you hold it in? That's the one I want to shake. You know what? You I <laughs> I have to go back on my Facebook and look. Yeah. I I was just so fast as a woman. You know we love diamonds and pearls. Right. And, diamonds you know, I, I don't want. Forever. I don't want a diamond. I don't. You know I'll take I'll take Alexandra. a pearl and an alexandrite. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. I like onyx stones. Mm. What is the color of the uh, alexandrite? Um. They. This one is, um, it's green initially, and it turns a uh, rubyish red to orange. Really? Um, the other one is blue, which turns blue purplish to um, violet okay. um, in the light. Um, so they all, they like I said, they mm-hmm. change colors. Okay. Um, but th- those are the only, oh, and I've seen orange. 
um, they all have they all have a bluish green tint to them. Okay. But again, when you hold it to the light, it just it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Wow. In my life, it's it oh it's like it kind of gives you a Stay weird. Stay on your mic there. A weird energy when you hold it. I'm well, looking really? at it's them like now. It's like holding a man that just you just wow. infatuated with, and you hug him, and you just get those feelings. The stone did for me. Wow. Just want to get married. It's the vibrations of the light, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Refl- you know, reflecting, reflect, reflecting, 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 So, yeah, y'all got me on the opiate, refracting. so I had to come back on somebody. <laughs> right, we, you know, <laughs> reflecting, um, refracting. Um, it's beautiful, actually. Yeah. It's a uh, it's, it's ironically that you hold you probably the only black woman that's probably ever held it. I am actually. Yeah. Uh, wow. Then my attorney, my attorney touched it. Mm. She's yeah. a black woman. That's right. So yeah, yeah two. Yeah, she so touched it. She didn't pick woman it up. Woman power today. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what today is mm-hmm. all about. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's Women's Wednesday. And while yeah. we're oh, talking, it is. While we're Absolutely. talking about that, I have women's one for Wednesday. you, brother. Word? Yes, yeah, sir. Come Word. with it then, Grandmaster. Okay, brother. What yeah. I hate to have to do this to you, but you know. Well, let's ride this out to the break. Before we go to the break, Onyx, uh, tell us a little bit about a little bit more about the show, if you can, before we go to the break. Just a little bit, a little teaser. Hooked on Onyx. I yes. love the name. Yes, yeah. Lifestyles What's that about? of the Wise and Wealthy. I'll interview a lot of wise people. It's not a show that anyone can get on, um, and a lot of wealthy people. Counts me out, I guess. I like Grandmaster. Yeah, no, no, you might be really wise. Let's audience. take it to the break, Grandmaster, <laughs> as we listen to this lovely. I'm song. already hooked <laughs> on Onyx. <laughs> Here we are, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the elegant voice of Miss Lisa Fisher, y'all. How can I ease the pain Uh-oh. from Grasshopper's hurt?
thank you for tuning in to L.A. Talk Live and the Talk Live Broadcast Network, original reality radio, handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is L.A. Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Sequoia Neff. And this is Jay Rios. And I'm Sharon Moore. Inviting you to join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Battle of the Sexes as we discuss his and her views on topics no one wants to touch. Where we keep it 100% real. And interesting. And it is pure comedy. So don't forget to tune in to Battle of the Sexes Mondays at 7 p.m. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com and the Talk Live Broadcast Network. You can also catch us on iTunes, Radio R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and AHA Radio. Or watch and listen directly at LATalkLive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is Donna Quarles, and I'm inviting you to join us every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. for a new show right here on LA Talk Live. The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. Join us as we discuss the topics that are relevant to today's generational leaders. So don't forget to tune in to The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People, every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. right here on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio r and Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch and listen directly at LATalkLive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hey, this is James Kenny inviting you to join me every Thursday at noon for the business of business. Join us as we discuss success and how to reach it. Listen, don't forget to join me every Thursday at noon Pacific Standard Time for the business of business exclusively here on L.A. Talk Live. Hey, and don't forget, you can also catch me on iTunes Radio R&B, Radio Flag, TuneIn Radio, Live 365, AHA Radio, TiVo Radio, and Apple TV Radio. Or just watch and listen directly at LATalkLive.com, where we are more than just talking. Merked it. Young Connection, your one-stop connection for all your graphic design and commercial printing needs. Young Connection is a full-service printing and media design company dedicated to providing the highest level of customer service and satisfaction. Young Connection provides swift response and rapid turnaround services for banners, brochures, business cards, letterheads, church bulletins, funeral programs, flyers, logo design, posters, and much, much more, all at an affordable price. Young Connection, the official printing company of LA Talk Live. Give them a call at 310-491-3336. That's 310-491-3336. Or visit their website at www.youngconnection.com. That's www.youngconnection.com. Young Connection Printing and Media Services, proud sponsors of LA Talk Live, where it's more than just talk. Hello, world. I love you and I love me. Real talk straight from the heart brain. It's Madam Vibrations here, founder of Vibrations, sharing the Love Your Skin Body Butter, also known as a booty butter. Vibrations creates with the highest vibrational energy on this planet Earth, which is love. So please support yourself, the world, and lupus community by purchasing any Vibrations healthy and living products. I also make vegan therapeutic living candles. You can find my products and the Bee Lounge located at 4873 Topanga Canyon Boulevard, Woodland Hills, California, 91364. And at the Ink Rich Tattoo and Piercing located at 7211 Van Nuys Boulevard, Van Nuys, California, 91405. Thank you for the highest good of all. I love you and I love me. I know that we both talked it over And said it's best to forget We'll leave all our memories behind us It's better in dead and yet So sad the song 
I'm good. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the background. Who is that? Sounds of Gladys Knight. Yes, indeed. Along with me. Yeah. I know. So sad. The song yeah. says goodbye from the very best of Gladys Knight. Mm-hmm. Uh, he forced my hand, y'all. I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do it, man. Take him out. But I had to go wow. real deep into my crates this week, bringing the Grandmaster back. From the uh, Grammys, I know he was going to come back strong. Mm-mm-mm. So wow. that one is one of my favorites as well. I'm, I'm okay. pulling out all my favorites today okay. of all the that's incredible. A that's mm-hmm. a good thing. Uh, female singers. I, I notice yeah. when you all talk about the women singers, you all right. tend to do this like lovey, sweet baby, baby kind of thing. And See, she I'm not hear hearing some... no rocking like. Oh, I got, uh, I, I, give I, it to me that's now. Coming uh, uh, that's uh, coming uh, later. That's coming later. Wait a minute. That's what you want. You know, no, no, no. That's what, what you, you know about Betty. Right? Come on, brother. Uh, I know that I don't on, want nobody on, cleaning up in my home. Not my house. Hold on. Hold I got don't, don't get anxious. Don't get anxious. I'm hearing the love. I need, I need to hear a little yeah. fire. Oh, you you, want you, some you're fire? making us sad. I got some fire for you, baby. Are you single, girl? You single? Oh, I'm single. I still got You're making me sad. I'm sad. Sister, as fine as you are, if you single, I'd be sad too if I yeah, was single. Yeah, you know what? I'm a hard woman to be with. Because when I was young and pretty like you, I'm here to tell you, I was young never and lonely. Young and pretty. Oh Take no, you know, I was married for over ten years, I'm believe it or kidding. not. Mm-hmm. I am. We little... have a lot of fun on this show, so you know we talk. Yeah, we get our clown and, on. We have. It's okay. And I, I and I tend to I think that I'm singleness. hilarious. I own my singleness. That's right. All right. So, um, getting back, Nothing we've got Onyx Monopoly. What a name! Yeah. We're going to yeah. pick a name, pick a good one, right? There and you go. She's, she's brought monopoly. along with her today to give out to all of our studio audience. Look under your chair. You've got a rock of <laughs> Alexandra. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no. Onyx's no. favorite things. No. Not today. Okay, not. <laughs> not today. Not today. Okay. Not so even a little chip. I'll give you a picture. <laughs> Shaq Kim Williams joins us here, and I'm very happy to have him joining us here on Jerry Bell's Soul R&B Classics. Today, we're very honored to have him. I'm very happy to have him. Fair and unbiased judgment. <laughs> what do you <laughs> think of that last volley? There, well, I think you really went deep on that one. Jerry was shaking a little, a little bit. Sad. I was shaking. <laughs> I, I saw some sweat oh, off his oh, brow. Oh, 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 right. yeah. I saw oh. a little sweat off his brow. I didn't Did you wipe it. Somebody pat him down. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know, I, ironically with the story, when I was young, m- one of my first artists that my mom played all the time that I fell in love with. When I got a chance to speak with her, it was like one of the most incredible experiences of my life was listening to Miss Gladys Knight Mm -hmm. and how Mm -hmm. incredible she's my favorite female artist of all time. I've got to work with her, brother. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, Gladys Knight is a Mormon. (laughs) Gladys Knight's a Mormon. I thought I'd throw that out there. Wait a minute, really? Wait a minute. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes. And why wouldn't wow. she be, Tosh? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's black? We want to collaborate on that? Come on. Really? Man. <laughs> Man. 
I get that all the time. There are black people in Utah? Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, ironically. Forget about the Mormons. There the, are there the black people in Utah. Right? Mormonism just opened up, well, I guess, what, in the, the color late folks? 80s? <laughs> late 80s to black people? Uh, no, actually. No. Um, I My grandmother taught me that black folks weren't allowed in church. But before I joined the, ch- um, joined the church, I did mm-hmm. a lot of research. You can't always listen to southern folk from Mississippi. You were not born a Mormon, that. in other words. No, I converted. I've been, <laughs> I've been on you a religion a soul Mormon. search with religion, my my grandmother's Baptist, my foster parents were Catholic, my father's Jewish, and my mother's mm. Mormon. Really? Yes. Uh, I it's just something that felt good for me. I mm. had some amazing missionaries in my home that taught me so much, and they answered questions that at the time my husband's pastor couldn't answer for me, nor mm-hmm. could anyone else. I had simple questions. So when did it say we can eat pork? I just want to know. Where in the Bible? Oh, I'm going to get back to you. Those little missionaries came back with everything. They would say, let me pray about it if they didn't have the answers. and, and oh, what, what, what was the answer? Trying. What was the answer? Um, never? Was, <laughs> I will never eat pork. I mean, go. I have. <laughs> even though John, or, or at least it, or whoever, I don't All care. Right. But the lies you tell that won't come in my house, no Porky the Pig is stay on the television. Yes, indeed. No pork in your house, <laughs> no Love Betty it. White in your house, no oh, cleanup no, woman. The housekeeper that, right? <laughs> has to be about 90 with the <laughs> well, she is peg now. leg. Well, you can have Betty White coming in now. <laughs> you know, Betty White is an amazing Betty singer. Right, I yes, Betty yes. White is. is an amazing singer. I got a chance to work with her. And wow. she has those high notes too. We mm. grew up together. God damn it! Then you can't <laughs> top the grand match. <laughs> I think I, I started. I accidentally said Betty Wright. I was thinking Betty Davis. What is the name Coming of that back. song? Nope, that nope, you, nope, nope, nope. Uh, I'm gonna uh, 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 kick uh, some some okay, fresh new sh- Betty Davis for you. Yeah, right. I got you. I, I, yes. But I had a question. Mm-hmm. You, you said you was looking and searching for <laughs> something, and you came into Mormonism. Um, what was you actually searching for? When you. God, I just wanted oh. to know. Thank you, uh, uh, Sensei, uh, Sifu, uh, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. Uh, Shine Shine. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I just had to do that. What were you searching for? Was the question for one hundred dollars? What were you searching for? No, God. You know what? I I, I was confused. I I had began to question God Stick and if God. He was real. Um, it's like a kid searching for Santa Claus and to find out what color he really is. You know, Mm. um, I was searching for God. I wanted to know that he was real. I honestly was borderline becoming atheist Mm. because you have all these religions fighting, you know, against each other. Um, you go to one church, they're talking about another religion and it's, I I don't, I was just trying to search. I, I, you know what? I was so, I was God fearing. I didn't know why I was afraid. But I knew I was afraid to curse. I've cursed him many times as a child being mm-hmm. homeless because it's like, why would you do this to me? If you really exist, why would you do this to me? Um, if you really exist, why would you do this to my mother? Mm-hmm. Well, if you really exist, why are so many different religions fighting? Why is the pastor sleeping with this person? <laughs> I had so many questions. So, so I was out? searching. Oh, boy, I love to answer those questions. I was no. searching. <laughs> that guy. I, I, I don't know. I was just searching for something within myself that mm-hmm. felt right. If that's, you know, mm-hmm. I, you know, it's, I, I really don't know. Sometimes you don't know what you're looking for, Stay but it mic. feels right. Mm-hmm. And it felt right for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I when I went through hard times, we were like a family. I was searching for a family. I guess that's what I was looking for, maybe because I never had a, 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 a solid foundation when it came to family. Mm-hmm. Um, in my ex husband's church, when we needed help, it was oh no, we can't help you because so and so still ain't paid. Well, when do you have to pay the church back? You know, and when it when it came to this religion. Mm-hmm. Um, I was never left out in the dark. I thought that all of all of the members were blood related to me. Right. I was pregnant with triplets. My house had burned down. Whoa. Um, oh they God. fed me and my children for eight months. That's beautiful. Um, they came and they checked on me every day when some of my family didn't check on me. I was in the hospital, terminally ill. Every day somebody was there. You've got quite a story, don't you? Uh, yeah. Mm. I'm fighting back the tears. Don't you, play are, any more sad cool. songs. Okay. Wow. I got you. I heard that. Did, are you, you, you were born in Utah. Is I was born, no, I was born in Merced, California. Okay. Um, we were, my grandmother ended up getting custody of us, and uh, her husband was stationed on Hills Air Force Base. That's how we ended up in Utah. Then the her children, my uncles and my mother, migrated there with Job Corps and so on and so forth. So all of my family. You were raised in Utah. Yeah, they remain cool. in Utah. How long have you been back in California? 
I, uh, well, that's kind of a whole nother okay, thing. Okay, okay. Now, Shock <laughs> wanted to ask another question. Don't answer mine. Interesting. Well, though, I mean, I, I was sitting by the state of Utah to live in California because of some things that went on in my childhood. So that's how I ended up in foster care in Inglewood, and that's kind of okay. a situation. Okay. Story goes deeper. It goes, yeah. On. Yeah. Follow yeah. that What's rabbit. <laughs> I'm an Aries. Okay. I'm a good Aries. I'm not a hoe. <laughs> uh, uh, is that the problem that I had with that girl? Uh, <laughs> well, wondering. Jim, Lil sorry, Kim. sorry, my fellow Aries. I'm Lil, sorry. Lil Kim. Uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna. You know, some things you just don't need to comment on. I wasn't gonna. Thank but, you, Shaq. Well, well, what I wanted. To, so, Mormons believe, right, in the planet. Uh, what's the planet that? Um, the Buru. The no. They believe in Earth. No, they believe but like when you die, the you, celestial king and celestial kingdom. You go to this planet. It's um, not a planet. It's a holding place. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, go somewhere. I don't. I, I forgot the name of it, and I was just trying to think of it. You're gonna go somewhere with the grasshopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the moon, pal. <laughs> now I'm not you. a Mormon master. You know, I don't know. Uh, you know everything about the religion. I'm a new yeah. convert. But is that um, what they believe? Like you? Uh, yes, they believe that you mm -hmm. have an opportunity mm -hmm. um, to be to accept Christ. A lot of uh, and you have an uh, opportunity to be forgiven. Some people, um, the faith believes, will do like atheism or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't believe in God. You don't accept Christ, and then you go where you're gonna go. Mm -hmm. um, but you have the opportunity yeah. to. No, I, I feel I believe people should believe whatever fulfills them. Right. Like you know, because there's so much, like you said, there's so much information. Right. That's put out here. Yes. And and one of the things I at least say to black people is is that they they just got out of a box, right? Where they were sheltered for over. Uh, we're well not sheltered, but they were cruelly beaten in this box right. for over, you 552 know, years. And if we want to just really go there, maybe 2,000 right. years, a little under over, and they just got out of this box. So the information that they've received, mm -hmm. right, they just, you know, received. So just imagine if you were in this situation and some of the most hideous things happened to you, and by the time you got out of there the only thing you, your memories would be of that what you know that happened in the box but you know they were kind of told whatever and you don't necessarily know until you do some investigation right and we as black folks are just now finally getting a chance to get some real information in on some of the things not just the slavery things mm -hmm. because like i think tasha i was listening on some mm -hmm. something that there's so many so much information yes. that um, the people of that, di you know, of the diaspora left for us. Right. That they're hiding, they're shielding, yes. that they're that they're keeping um, buried, um, you know, sealed um, because of you know the whole slave mentality of being a slave and mm -hmm. controlling not only your spirit, mm -hmm. you know, but your economic assets as well. Mm -hmm. You know, right. so. Coming out of the box, you know, it's 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 crazy that there's so much, and we know so little. Yes. About it, and you said about searching. What, and that's the only reason that you know caused me to ask. Yes. Is because a lot of people are out here searching. Yes. For something, and they find whatever they find for themselves, which is you know cool, right. but it's hard because you know there there's over 2,700 religions in the world. I've studied about 23 of them. Um, so when I say I was searching, mm -hmm. I'm still searching to find so many things that are lost within myself. And I would say that that's where, you know, when anybody's searching for anything mm -hmm. in their life, mm -hmm. the place where they're going to, they're not going to find it outside of self. No, you're not. You know, so within inside self, there's a library or a data or information that's, you know, that's, you know, the past, present and future. Right. Uh, information, all you have to do is go with inside self and trust right. that. Right. But how do you get there? How do you, you know? Let me comment on the that. The master. Thank you so much. Sensei. <laughs> Seafood. <laughs> Look, <laughs> um, of course, everything is within inside of self. But in order to get to the depth of self, you have to go to the ancestors. Because the ancestors are the creator of the future self that you are. You know what I mean? So that means that you have to go back way to the beginning of your history 
and pull out of your history pool where, why, and when you were assembled. And once you get that total overstanding, you always want to overstand situation. When right. when people say, I understand, yeah. that means that you're beneath and you still have no clue of what's going on yeah. and, and people can fool you. Right. But when you overstand the situation and you see the whole picture mm-hmm. and no one can come to you with some BS, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You know how to ricochet that stuff off you and, and move into the dimensions that you need to go into. But... Yeah, this is a conversation I had on the radio that a show that I was on yesterday when uh, the young lady kept bringing up, yeah, well, this is a Black History Month and we have right. da da da. I said, stop. <laughs> I said, let me express something to you. Until we as people stop doing two things, stop calling ourselves African American because there's nothing American about us. We are African, period. Mm-hmm. We are African from our bloodline. And when you research your whole history, that's where you come from. Nothing else. We were the beginning of all things. So when you understand that, then no one can tell you that you're something that you're not. They're going to put so, a, a label on you. Here comes the conversation. Yeah. Let's get well, it in. Well, the, here, it's something that I run into all the time. Um, and you guys are probably going to kill me for this but or butcher no, me. No, no, no. But it's, you know, remember when Tiger Woods had the interview Cobblation. with... Uh, Cobblation. <laughs> you know, I love my culture and heritage. It took so long for me to find out what am I mixed with mm. you know I'm one child out of five that with my mother that's biracial and I look different I've always looked different I'm weird looking to several people at least that's what they say mm. but why is it that Africans African Americans or whatever <laughs> uh, majority of the time they want you to just say you're African or African American or Black. So why do we have to do not deny no, no, no. our other culture? I'm not saying mm, deny. Look, I'm going to answer that. I'm glad you asked that question. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not saying deny who you are. I have my son. Mother's Korean. Mm-hmm. Okay, but he's a Black man. Not denying his Korean heritage, but the pool gene from Daddy is much stronger than Mommy's. The Y chromosome. And Correct. Are it, they it, gonna accept you? Are they gonna, you know, when you meet your uh, per, Peruvian, Peruvian, Persian. Uh, Persian? Yeah. Are they gonna say, oh, she's Persian, or are they gonna say uh, my she's family? A black woman? Some of my closest family members, my Italian aunt, my Lebanese aunt, they're they're my rock. They're like my mothers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, they will die for me, and they have proven that they would. But are know, they gonna claim you as Lebanese well, in their country? They, um, eh, but Lebanese is Are they black. Gonna claim yeah, you? yeah. Actually, there's no problem. My aunt actually, we we have a trip planned to go to Lebanon. Mm-hmm. Um, no, they, no one has been embarrassed of me. You know what? When I was a young girl, my brothers and sisters at times were embarrassed of me. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, and they're black, or mm-hmm. African, or African American, mm-hmm. or see, whatever. See, let me let me <laughs> let me kind of finish a little bit what I was saying to you. First of all, when the enemy places a name on you. <laughs> You got to be careful of what you accept because they're giving you a culture and a name that the slave masters or the slave owners would give to take you away from, you know, who you are, what you are and why you are. This is what they did to our ancestors. This is what they did to our to our to our parents, our grandparents. So when you know deep inside of you who you are. For sure. And where everything else came from, then there's no denial of what you are and why you are. But you know that they are the ones that are there to distract you from the, the actual truth of what you are. And go ahead. Cause I, go ahead. Please. I'm a lot of things. Well, <laughs> you know, and I, I think. But a lot of things that you are still come from the root of. And that root is okay, you there. said um, it, you you said that your son is a black man. Yeah. Um, and when you see I've, the baby I met yesterday, mm-hmm. um, and I actually have a nephew that looks like him who's Native American and black, mm. but he looks Native American. Um, and then I have another same. My sister has a another son who's Caucasian and black, but he mm. does not look black at all. Mm. If I bring right. my nephew into the room, you wouldn't know he was a black man. Yeah. So what would he identify himself as? A black man. And, well, um, but, so when you speak of um, the bloodline, you're not speaking of a parent's. You're speaking of the bloodline. bloodline yes. And who's going to believe 
that he's black unless he pulls his mother up. You, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't he uh, want to say? He was well, why black? wouldn't he want to say that he's white? I'm just curious. I mean, coming mm-hmm. from black men. Well, the reason okay. the, the reason why that is is because of the structure. See, I grew up during the '60s, '70s era, and they put this on you mm-hmm. that you know the 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 division. And then in the school books and uh, and in the school system, the way that they set up the programs to to dehumanize you and to uh, and to defunct what you really are, they started that. They would never like you have a lot of brothers that's albino, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and um, they would tell them that they were not they were not black, you know. So they didn't want to accept who they are. I mean, you have a lot of sisters that are chocolate dark that Mm -hmm. don't want to accept the fact that they hate themselves because Mm -hmm. this is what was fed to us. Unfortunately, you know what I mean? So who makes the, who, who defines who you are? Is it the father or the mother or is it your skin color? Well, Uh, it's a little bit of both, but more so, uh, (laughs) because if my father's not black and if I were, um, for example, I have brothers with my father. Right. Um, does that make them, well, I can't call them white. No. Well, well, think well, about it. Like, if I can say this, Jerry. Go ahead, please. Um, they were they were in a group of scientists were in New York, and it was at this festival. Yeah. And they ended up doing a study on the DNA. Mm-hmm. Right now, it was Chinese. Every race, for the most part, it was a lot of races. There was a it was a nice gene pool mm-hmm. that was there, and they were asking like the Chinese men or Korean or whatever you know people, you know. Where do you think you came from? And most of them, Chinese, you know, I come from China. You know, you Japan, I come from Japan. Uh, and they were whatever. So they took their DNA, did studies and tests. Mm-hmm. And what we are, what they, what, what they told them was what most scientists and what some people know is that every race of people that's on this planet came from um, the continent of what we call today Africa. Africa. The right. Or Kibulan, or see Africa. I mean, what they call Africa, Leo Africanus, or another dude. Um, the reality of it is, is that we we wasn't separated like that. They came in and separated. We allowed them to separate us and come up with the Congo, with Libya, um, with all these colonizing. Bati- yeah, you know, from the money, from the wealth and resources. So the trick comes in, like. When he said overstand, and I'm just going to add to that, when you understand, mm-hmm. you know, an aspect, it's not about these characteristics. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's a state of mind, mm-hmm. right? More than anything else, because I can, I, I know some, for instance, Clarence Thomas, mm-hmm. right, um, who said he's black, but he believes um, in non-traditional black things. Such as? Um for instance, uh, I would say marriage. Um, I believe, you know, he's married. There's nothing wrong with it mm-hmm. overall. Um, but he's married to a white woman. That's his preference and it's his choice. Um, typically, you know, black people marry black people. Chinese people marry Chinese people. But there's people that, whatever. He don't believe um, in a lot of particulars when it comes to um uh, the black struggle. Mm-hmm. Uh, he pretty much looks at it a, a whole lot differently based on his experience. And we all have our experience and we all go through this experience called life. But the reality of it is, is that those those terms and those conditions were placed on us to keep us apart. You know, all races of people apart because mostly people, you know, in order to control somebody, you have to keep them confused. And as yeah, long right. as you're confused psychologically, socially, economically, um, spiritually, and let alone religiously, Mm -hmm. you know, from a religious perspective, Mm -hmm. then you're going to always be searching. And you never find that inner self within self because you too much, you know, like all of us, most of us are on the surface Mm -hmm. and don't realize there's a thick layer of dirt under there or confusion Mm -hmm. or uh, not trusting within self Mm -hmm. so we're going to look whatever it don't matter um that x gene that y gene so important though ironically which determines all of 
in everything that's on but this it planet. It takes for self to be confident to make decisions to stand by and to live by. It. How can you be confident? How can you even love yourself if you don't even know yourself? Mm, and who mm. and who are you? When you ask, okay, who am I? Are you just the things that you do? Or is there something a little deeper inside you that you may not even research or reached yet? You know, so most people say, who are you? And they list off the shit that they do. Right. You know, but is that what you do or who you are? Right. Oh, that's a good one. You know, so. I'm going to have to uh, use that on the show. For my part, I will say that. You I know tend you're the grasshopper. Think, I tend to think. <laughs> I tend to think that self love is overrated. I've tried it many times, mm-hmm. and I'd rather <laughs> have someone else loving me. He's tried to kiss himself in the mirror. Look at what? Thank you. Thank you. TMI. It was getting a little cold in here. Thank you, grasshopper, for coming back. Listen, listen. I wasn't prepared. Let's take us to the break. Shock, listen. What he did was he had his pillow wrapped around him and everything. No need to go. Details, again, again, shot. Wow. Shot, he took some lipstick and wiped it on the pillow, made the lips on it. You know, <laughs> you know now listen, oh, I say yeah. that in jest. I say that in jest. Oh, but for yeah. anyone who spent enough time alone, okay. hearing their friends tell them, well, you got to love yourself first, mm-hmm. it gets a little tiring, you know, mm. hearing that. Well, you know what? Because. Although I love me, a I lot. believe that <laughs> self love is important. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. and we can take up this topic after the break, okay. right? I'll put this out there. Mm. Okay, that it's someone else's love, at least for me, mm. that validates my we love know. myself. We know this, unfortunately, <laughs> because <laughs> it is it, it, it's when someone else loves you mm-hmm. that you feel. A sense of worthiness we know but and acceptance. When, what if it's the wrong love? Like well, I, I've never had the wrong well, he love. Had, look, I don't know about y'all. No. Look, he had the wrong love. When you're waiting <laughs> for someone to love you and they don't love you in the right, right way. Ain't and then nobody ever waited to love me, though. That's the problem. Right. Maybe that's why I think that Well, you that need way. to stop uh, lowering your prices and um, raise your <laughs> stock. Now, if now, everybody now. can love you. We'll discuss my prices <laughs> after the break. <laughs> everybody can love you. And he got to he gotta stop taking that. 95 a pound. He got to stop taking it. I'll keep it real. I'll tell you now. It's not. Oh, right. 95 a pound. Oh, he got to stop taking that oh, grass out of the <laughs> Anyway, let's go to the break. Take us out with your Grandmaster. Yes, indeed. Uh, he hit you with a song that I was actually going to come up with, but uh, this is uh, The Emotions. Sure you were. You got the best of my love. I had it ready for him, and he took all the, he took a, you know, he trying to vibe me out. The pillow everything. has the best of his love. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's right, baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. Tell oh, she him. got choked. That's right. We got jokes up in it. Yeah. Look where she's sitting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's Richard God, God. <laughs> okay, never mind. So yes uh, break. We're going to go to the break oh. We'll be back after Station Identification Right here on this Bat Channel Same right. Bat Time Look y'all you're listening to the sounds of Jerry Bell's R&B Soul Classics Here on LA Talk Live Don't go nowhere or you'll be square This is Donna Quarles, and I'm inviting you to join us every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. for a new show right here on L.A. Talk Live, The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. Join us as we discuss the topics that are relevant to today's generational leaders. So don't forget to tune in to The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People, every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. right here on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio r and Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hello, world. How you living? 
This is Dee Brax, your host of the all-new rap project here on L.A. Talk Live. That's latalklive.com. Or you can find me on iTunes Radio in the R&B section. That's the rap project every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's Wednesdays at 7 p.m. West Coast Time. So don't be late. On the rap project, I will be playing the very best of rap and hip hop that goes beyond the ordinary. So connect with me, your host, D. Brax, the rap connoisseur, on The Rap Project every Wednesday at 7, right here on LATalkLive.com, where we are more than just talk. Hey, y'all. I'm Shaquem Williams, and I'm the host of The Shock Factor here on L.A. Talk Live. We broadcast to the world every Friday at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Live music, live performances, we're just live. Chef Momo, Life MC, Diana, and once again, your host, Shaquem Williams. So come join us every Friday here at L.A. Talk Live. The world leading broadcasting internet radio station. The Shock Factor. The Shock Factor. The shock. Join us on the Shock Factor. Hello, world. I love you and I love me. Real talk straight from the heart brain. It's Madam Vibrations here, founder of Vibrations, sharing the Love Your Skin Body Butter, also known as a booty butter. Vibrations creates with the highest vibrational energy on this planet Earth, which is love. So please support yourself, the world, and lupus community by purchasing any Vibrations healthy and living products. I also make vegan therapeutic living candles. You can find my products and the Bead Lounge located at 4873 Topanga Canyon Boulevard, Woodland Hills, California, 91364. And at the Ink Rich Tattoo and Piercing located at 7211 Van Nuys Boulevard, Van Nuys, California, 91405. Thank you for the highest good of all. I love you and I love me. Hi, this is Sequoia Neff. And this is Jay Rios. And I'm Sharon Moore. Inviting you to join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Battle of the Sexes as we discuss his and her views on topics no one wants to touch. Where we keep it 100% real. And interesting. And it is pure comedy. So don't forget to tune in to Battle of the Sexes Mondays at 7 p.m. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com and the Talk Live Broadcast Network. You can also catch us on iTunes, Radio R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and AHA Radio. Or watch and listen directly at LATalkLive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Yo, shout out to LA Talk Live. It's your man, Dane Webb, host doing the most. Dane's World, every Saturday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Check me out. Y'all be cool. Live free every Saturday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. If it's 8 too late, don't make that mistake. Don't be lame, y'all. Don't be lame. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Peace.
And the sounds that you are listening to, ladies and gentlemen, is that of the emotions with earth, wind, and fire in yes. the, the background playing the music. And here it was. I thought he had shot his load and decided to stop playing <laughs> music created by R&B soul artists and play some earth, wind, and fire. But you're right. That is the emotions in the background. Well, thank you, brother. Very nice. Look <laughs> okay, at I had to dig deep for that he's one. Not, he's not realizing who he's dealing with here. You know what I mean? I had no idea. <laughs> Listen to it, man. Sing it, Taj. Go on. Right. You can sing. Yes, indeed. Let me get in there with you. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Richie. Do it. Do it. No, he'll ruin the whole. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at Even his poo-poos is off. <laughs> See, the thing with me, it's not a question of whether I can or can sing. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that I will. Oh, <laughs> okay. There you go. That's so fine. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm singing for me right now. Sing. That's all I ever sing. Shot. <laughs> Look at yeah. Take him to the studio, man, and do something with him. His poo-poos you know, is even off. <laughs> you know, it was funny. One more Grand time. Master. One more time. Poo poo. No, one more time. Poo poo. Excuse me. Poo poo. No, one more time, Richie. One more. Poo poo poo. No, one more time, Richie. Poo poo. Okay, you woo woo woo. Right, right. You can't do that. How are you woo? And you know what, Grandmaster? It's so funny. How are those? Because the poo poo. That sounds nasty. This ain't our Kelly show. Shock even said to me, man, I could take you in the studio and work with you. Oh, my I'm like, God. man, I don't give a damn. Yeah. I sing for me. You know, we got to put them with the choir. <laughs> Put them with the choir. Right 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 on there. The they won't judge you, baby. They won't judge you. Shock. You my and, and, microphone. Okay, as bad as I do not like the sound of Beyonce's voice, I would accept that. Over, <laughs> over oh, oh, oh my God! Beyonce, don't you take him me? seriously, hon. Take me serious, Beyonce. <laughs> We're sorry about that. Beyonce. Oh my God! How do you all feel yeah, about anyway. that song? You like it? That latest song? Which one? It got uh, drunk in love. So much flack, man. Yeah. Well, we was talking about the, you know, the the Grammys and okay. and what she was wearing when she was performing that mm-hmm. song, right? And I, I and I said it on my show she and I said it again, she... you know, that was drunk. very um, distasteful. Uh, it wasn't ladylike. It wasn't motherly like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't believe that. I think what he was doing, what he was promoting, and what they were promoting, um, is within this music industry is sickening. Um, and people, it's a catch-22 because what they're telling these artists out here now, uh, if you want to join in that world, is that you have to, you know, sell sex, sex sales. And so every artist that you start to see, are, you know, pretty soon they're gonna, it's going to be porn. Right. right? It's, it it's, is porn. No, it's going to be like porn. Two live crew. Porn, porn. porn. That's, right. That's porn, porn. Well, BET After Dark. How do you feel? You, you remember she did the um, show with Tina Turner where they were honoring Tina Turner. Mm. And she danced alongside of Tina Turner. And she spoke about how Tina Turner was such an inspiration. I felt like she was mocking it when they did the uh, verse, you know, um, mm. Eat the K Animate. Um, eat the cake and yeah, eat the it, cake. He killed her wow. with that one. It was just like really. Yeah. I found I just found that yeah. very disrespectful. Because because you know they're in a bracket right now where they think that they are the shit, and they're not. They, what are they are Come shit. on, that Jerry. No. And this is why I got beat up last week on my show. Hold on. Let me let me. Finish Let's not though. take anything me, from the hard work that on, those me, young people put in. Please, by all means. Um, they work hard at shit. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I mean, look, I come from real. Music, real performers. We had to work for what we got. Oh my God. Twenty-four seven, Jack. We rehearsed every day. We were in the basements or in rehearsal studios. We had coaches that uh, Motown used to, and Motown and Philly International and Stax Records used to hire uh, choreographers, coaches for vocals, and also. Um, um, uh, coaches for speech, you had to ha- and folks be, to tell you how to comport yourself yeah. in public too, right? You had, yeah, you the had to be grammatically coaches. correct in your in your talk when you were on in front of a camera on the radio. There were certain things that you could answer. Right. Uh, I need one of those, you know, and certain I, things I that you couldn't. Amazing, you know what I'm saying? And and then the, the elegance of dress. You know what I mean? We had we had wardrobe persons that took care of our wardrobe that made sure that you were not looking like some ragamuffin or either some hoe. Right on uh, on the television, embarrassing a record label. 
And, Jer- and respect due to the Grandmaster. I love that jacket. I was joking a little bit earlier. You, I felt a little hurt, so I had to like try to. That's all right, no, man. That jacket I, is know, I know it couldn't <laughs> fit you, you know. So, <laughs> hey, but no. Jerry, you know, what, speak on this though. Like when you know you you were starting off in the industry, you know, where music and that whole uh, phenomena when y'all came in, you know, y'all was talking about things. Y'all was talking about the war, talking about conditions, talking about what was actually going on in the world. Uh, now, totally different. Mm. Totally, you know, you know, promoting sex. Well, see, we were conscious. I mean, we did, we did the sexual thing as well. Because but it was we were, classy. Well, yeah, though. but we were yeah. in a sexual yeah, it was, revolution. It was, I mean, it was sexual sex. innuendo. It wasn't yeah. I mean, right. look, uh, like you what know, you you mean had, innuendo. You ever see them tight jeans some dudes be wearing? <laughs> <laughs> With the sock. They did do the sock. Hey, Jerry, did you ever do the sock thing? <laughs> The sock. <laughs> <laughs> the sock like, what is that? <laughs> no, baby, it's 100. On. I guess Go, not. It was yeah. 100. I guess not. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, we did like, you know, you had you had Marvin Gaye's uh, sexual healing, which, you know, Marvin was classy with, with the sexual healing. Yes. You know, we had, uh, when I was in New Birth, we had a record called Got to Get a Nut. Mm. You know, oh, wow. That um, one. Really, straight um, to yeah, the point. Love that one. Just yeah. didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Was, okay, uh, but did you speak about squirrels or anything? Just saying, I mean, or lots did you of just you window, so, just, just like you implied? Just, just lot of, right? yeah. One of my yeah. favorite songs uh, and, by y'all. Even, in, even with Daz Band, we had a record called Joystick. You know what I mean? Oh, that was my jam. Yeah. You know, so I mean, we <laughs> we were we were very classy about <laughs> we were like very classy one. about really? about what we did, and then you know what? The only female that was explicit. In her sexual thing verbally was Millie Jackson. Ooh, that's what I was about mm. to say, Millie Jackson. That was the only mm. one. Outside of that, everything was was real classy. The yes. women carried themselves, and even Millie Jackson was classy yeah. about how she handled her thing. Mm. But <clears throat> the women that were the groups, the female groups, the Supremes, mm-hmm. the the uh, the emotions, the uh, the Jones girls. I mean, they all came from stables where the record label said, "No, you're not going out like this." this so there was no know. singing Little Kim back then. No, no, no. So who would you, you know, who would you then put the onus on for, you know, for the destruction of communities, mm. right? Uh, me personally, let me add, you know, I me will personally, tell you straight out. I don't, and I know what you're going to say, but let me go ahead and say what I'm going to say. Go ahead, brother. I put the onus on all these people that's out here chasing, right? Mm-hmm. You know. Chasing this money and selling their souls. Mm. Now they don't have to do that, mm-hmm. right? They can just say, "No, I, I'm not going to be a star." But we were sold the star syndrome when we were kids, watching TV. Exactly. You're watching all the listening to the song. I want to do that. You Bobby, just, I can you do just, that. You just said it <clears throat> from your to lips. promotion. But yeah, okay. So who controls the marketing? Who controls your mind? No, 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 yeah. Who controls your mind? Who control well the marketing? Yeah. yeah. So that means television, radio, radio, advertisement. Right. That's mm-hmm. the same thing when you know I tell everybody that um, that uh, what's his name uh, Hugh Hefner and that Vogue guy. magazine <laughs> um, are pimps. Shouldn't we call him Hugh Heffer? <laughs> <laughs> Should we no. just call him you Heffa? <laughs> because because anyway. they have no respect for women. You know what I mean? They put the women out there and they sell her just like that. So you most Heffa. women, so most women who are look at themselves in the mirror and they say, "Well, God, look, I got a body." I'm so beautiful. you've never bought a Playboy magazine? I never in my life. Have you ever looked at one? Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. I, I was have. looking at the articles though. Me myself <laughs> <laughs> I had a great article. Actually, on I, I, actually, right. I, actually, actually, mm-hmm. actually, I me, dated, I was loving I me myself and I. <laughs> <laughs> there, you no, go there you go with that pillow talk again. <laughs> and I, and me, I like it, me. <laughs> and that's where the lipstick really came from. <laughs> and, the sm- and the smeared Vaseline on the, on, the, on the pillow. He said the pages were stuck together. <laughs> 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 I mean, lotion, dude. Lotion's way better. That, that's just, oh, 
Oh, wow. Well, well, at least he admitted it. <laughs> but I'm still trying to Moving figure out on. how did the uh, lipstick get in the room? That's the penitentiary talk. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> penitentiary pillow talk. That's a whole other show. Where did the lipstick come from? Look here. Oh, that is a hey, show, right? Hey, hey Shot, <laughs> your boy ain't tell you he had them conjugal visits. <laughs> <laughs> By lipsticks and pillows. Right. <laughs> Pillows used to come and see me all the time. Hey, man, he was listening to Sylvia's Pillow Talk. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Somehow I'm beginning to think that Jerry may have looked me up on Interpol. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, my goodness. Man. I'm going oh to have God. to pray In after this effort one. effort to keep it light, I thought I would uh, joke about that. But, mm. you know, let's get back to the serious side of this. You're saying you, you and Shock were both debating, not debating, but discussing the issue of who influences our people and what the hell happened to well, music? Uh, well, I mean, look, you, you know, know, where's the R&B singers? Honest, where's the soul honestly, singers? Honestly speaking, you know, and, and, and people who know, know, ones who want to deny and hide are cowards. I call them that straight right. out because, you know, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but you know no. that, you know that the, the, um, the moguls that, took over see let me tell you something let's go there the best time of the entertainment industry was when the italians ran the business mm. In the <laughs> because they had morals no let me explain it's something to you serve him with some skin no, no. he likes uh, no, it right i'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell you something really crime don't pay i know because i came <laughs> out, out of that era a handshake was you were going to follow your word or you would die by it that's the bottom line. Mm. In the in the industry now where the Jewish moguls have taken over the business, it's like I don't have to do anything, sue me. Oh. And they got all the lawyers oh. to hold you for as long as they want. I've been mm. through the record company lawsuit mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. From David Geffen, Geffen Records, all the way down to, you know, dealing with the Warner Brothers and, and this is how the artists have gotten shitted on wow. in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, even in the film business, mm -hmm. whereas when the Italians ran the studios, when they were running the, the, dude, one of my closest friends was Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra. Mm. Mm. And everything was on a handshake. Everything was your word is your bond. That locks us in. Mm. You didn't have life. to sign contracts. Right. Because you knew that you were responsible for whatever you didn't follow Unfortunately, through Unfortunately, you can't do that today. I've no. been burned by no. shaking oh, the man. wrong hands. No, 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 no. The so problem. Why? Hold on. Yeah, you got that problem too? Look, mm -hmm. the you problem. You know what? I don't want to <laughs> touch your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, after what you just said, <laughs> anybody got some hand sanitizer up in here? Oh, my that God. Bitch was <laughs> <laughs> yep, see, He's the one it. that admitted to the lotion. That's jockey right. Han. Okay, so back to the Italians and the Jews and the music. Back to Jockey Han. <laughs> Han People Solo. Lost that sense <laughs> of People lost that sense no, of sensitivity. No, well, well, because, because look, today, again, it goes back to nobody feels responsible. I, I don't have to worry about nothing mm. happening to me. You can't do nothing to me. Sue me. Right. Take me to court. Sue me. Right. I have a lawyer. You got a lawyer. Sue me. Right. You know, it's out of that, not quite, but somewhat out of the realm of, okay, you're not going to do this? Uh, no problem. Uh, right. Vinny, right? You know, what I mean, look, we come from we come from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. In Philly, still, it's still Stand. get down or lay, lay down. down. That's it. Wow. Get down or, or lay, lay down. down. Mm -hmm. Jack, you don't follow. But see, for seafood, think, think, think about it. All I'm saying is, is this. And, 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 and hold, I'm sorry, okay. I don't mean to cut you. And that only happens here in the Americas, right? Because outside of the United States, oh, where yes. I've lived, yeah. oh, yes. it's, a whole, it's, oh, it's yes. a different It's a different Is mentality. it better? You won't try that better? in Colombia. Let me tell you, yeah. you, you get treated better. Right. You, you won't, won't try this. that in Italy. No and you won't do it in Japan. And you either. won't do it in Mexico either. Yeah. That's mm. right. You won't even do it at the bottom of Texas. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't right. come up to Utah with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and Mormons don't play that. Oh, hi, you'll, mess up. you'll come in the church and get lost forever. But, you know, uh, what I was, Is that you know, tea y'all drinking? <laughs> what, what I was saying was... It's herbal that, tea. It's no, herbal okay. tea. It's green. Yes. When, when is it that people... It's, it's like, you know, looking at the economy today, looking at the crisis that goes on today, 
and we're looking at you know and i'm just speaking for black people mm -hmm. um or people that's considered of color of color Indigenous. or whatever you know because <laughs> that's that all that's just mer tags and if you're titles. biracial and you're really light does it count yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Just checking. because I know some real black people that's super duper black that's not black. Oh, okay. Ooh. You know, I like you. You but know you, what I'm saying? You know, I know some lighter ones too, I like think Rich. We have a love. <laughs> can we, can we, you use big words and everything. Can we well, get married? You should hear him sing. Oh, oh yeah. don't do that. And he is sing go. I'm a woo woo woo. Okay, we have a love connection. All right, go ahead. Okay. Shot Kim Williams, come on down. <laughs> no, no, no. I hey, got shot. concrete shoes for you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Don't kill me. Shock you me. You know that. I know. <laughs> I made time. a blush. Black people do turn red, see? I th and thank you very much. And you're very beautiful lady. And so do yeah. light skinned brown people. He's a light skinned brown person, actually. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually a little bit more red toned. You got that good hair. I'm joking. Smells like berry. But shock, <laughs> shock, shock, widow, shock, widow, with, with, uh, with, uh, with, with, come back and haunt him. Now. <laughs> I, I, just, I want, you know what? You threw me off track, so I just thought I would return the widow? favor. But, no, Jerry's just joking. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead, and uh, like I carry her. School girls yeah, up I in here. I carry her in the trunk with me all here. the time. All the lies you, you tell, you I you saw, I'm turned off. <laughs> you saw a bad grandpa with they had. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. How about that sword? Mm. You saw Whoa. a bad grandpa when they took the old woman on a trip across the. Uh, so funny. Yeah. I didn't watch bad grandpa. But I was just saying, you never really. It's it's the most hilarious thing really? ever. Okay. That if you got to watch the movie, her. If you haven't seen her yet, it's one up, you know, for okay. whatever Academy. This is when he's bored. He sits at home and watches this kind of stuff. I'm going to come out with a movie called <laughs> She Will Never Be in Your Trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Not her. Not I. Starring. <laughs> Starring Grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> and the pillow. Monopoly. And the, the Playboy. <laughs> and 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 Grasshopper <laughs> is Shaka Williams. <laughs> but yeah. what, what, right. what are we going to take responsibility? Okay. okay. And, and this is what I'm saying. is like we, we see these conditions every day and we, you know, we go through things and we more than likely most people complain. Then they, you know, try to fix Right. things even in their own life right? right so we recognize problems and issues that happen all the time mm -hmm. right but we're we're not in we don't feel as if you know we're in power enough to do anything about it but we are mm -hmm. right but we don't know it because we've been tricked in believing that anything that they do we just will accept it and run with it yeah. and just take it it's just like you know people were talking about um i was watching you know, I, I watch a lot of things um, just to see how much people lie, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, no, really, it's a lot of lying. I believe you. Oh, yeah. You know, to yeah. the point where if it came from, and maybe I hate to say this, but I don't, which is an oxymoron. Right. Um, anything that has come from the West, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. it, when, when, it, when, when information Mm -hmm. It's come from the West or right. Westerners. Right. One hundred percent of it, I don't believe. Of course. Yeah. Now it's the reason why I say <laughs> that. Like some people are like, what hear that and say like, what what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. But if you because they're liars. They lie so much we didn't know they had two pair of legs to stand up. You know. Mm. I've never it's terrible. Terrible. exactly like a Persian rug. It, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Wait a, like huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Take her there. Take her there, Jerry. Uh, no, no. Uh, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> but we have this energy and synergy within all of us to do something about it. And on your show, yes. you know, and I'm glad that we're talking about it because you are a real artist. You come from the real school, not the old school, but mm. the only school mm -hmm. where they were teaching, you know, things and morals that they still had left that came from, you know, their parents right. and mm -hmm. mother's mother. Now, you know, we look at the conditions. There's right. only mothers in the home. There's no fathers. But you know why that is. Well, of course, because of the psychological trauma that's been put that, that keep us from each other. Right. Not only that, you know, pro, pro co and tell. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know. Okay, yeah, you course. know, it was set up by the FBI, right. which was by J. Edgar Hoover, who yeah. was the head of the FBI, who worked with the CIA, mm -hmm. who actually set that up to destroy. Take you, It's an old saying, uh, it, you cut the head off the snake and the body dies. So right. you take the head of the family away, put him in prison, send him to war, let him get killed, stick him on the drugs. And then and economically the women, keep them down. Correct. Yeah. And this and, is why I date men over 50. And so then the women, 
the women are there to Break fend for them. themselves. I'm 52. Marriages. Women are there to fend for themselves with the children, and the children have no male role model because you know after they came in with the homosexual thing, yeah. uh, the uh, the agenda of homosexuality that really destroyed the man male image in the family. So now there is no more family unit. How do you guys feel about the Grammys and them and their display of homosexuality? Mm-hmm. I think it sucks so bad. It's terrible, man. You know what I mean? I, like I, I said to someone before, I haven't been to the Grammys except for the exception of when we got ours and then the last was when Marvin Gaye got his Grammy. Yeah. And that was it because it's been nothing but bullshit ever since. Yeah, and and you have those same people who are pushing the homosexual agenda so hard that they are in control of president of the Grammy board and you know, that kind of foolishness, this kind of stuff like this, you know what I mean? Same thing in Hollywood and the motion picture industry. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's what you're going to find. And now it's a thing where it used to be a casting couch for the women. It's a casting couch for the men. Oh, Everything wow. is based on man now. Oh, yeah, we'll take you on if you okay. uh, you want you want to be in the movies. Oh, come on. How, 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 much, how, mm. how far can you bend over? And I think the catch-22 <laughs> about yeah. it is, is this. Is, it's just like anything else. Um, if you speak on that Mm -hmm. and if you talk to more than one person that knows somebody that knows somebody, your name would get put out there Mm -hmm. and they will at that point shun you or avoid you from any work. But you know what? Possibly. Listen listen to me. If you talk talk about it. If you talk Mm -hmm. about it. But this is how I feel about that. And if you refuse, you just ain't working. My my mother said to me, if you're not willing to die for something, you ain't willing of living for anything. That's true. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. And truth is truth, fact is fact. I don't care. I don't stutter when I speak out of my mouth, and I can care less about what these people think. And if you want to try to stop me, you can come on and do it. First of all, I speak seven languages, so I travel the world. You can't stop me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know how to fend. And then the music industry is not the only industry that I know how to work it right you know i'm a martial artist i own Mm. uh, martial arts organizations right around the world so i'm not worried about these people you know doing anything to me and then physically if you want to come on with it but they're not going to do that so what are some solutions yeah they don't want to die you see the cucumber uh yeah he's ridiculous (laughs) so you know i mean i have no fears at all you know what i mean what are some of your what are some of some (laughs) some new school or the only school solution to these situations is some of the things that we're facing in, in our community, because we know like they had a with music. They did a study in Harvard mm-hmm. that they realized that if you pump low frequencies into the, you know, you have your seven chakras and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And if you feed frequencies within those chakras, that's um, um, low frequencies, you get a lower response. And then people act in a certain particular kind of way. Mm. And, you know, so... Sound waves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so these frequencies hitting your low chakra, and, you know, making you act in your lower self. The harp. H-A-R-P. Right. Well, and that's, you know, that's... Oh, God. Mm. So what are are some solutions? Because now all the music that's being heard, most of it, Mm -hmm. right, uh, is controlled by these entities that have a plan... Mm -hmm. To Demise. keep you in your lower um, civilization or lower register so that you would keep on killing each other, that you would keep on disrespecting each other, right. that you would see these mothers and you see these fathers. Mm-hmm. And, you know, all of these things are a result of frequency response. Well, and for the answer to Shock's most provocative question, be sure to tune in. Every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific That's right. for the shock factor. Because you ain't got to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to go. So. Yeah, we, uh, we're at that hour. Uh, we're at the top Sorry, of the hour it now. It is uh, time for us to part. Let's I want to wrap it up. One solution, though? Get, go, you start teaching your children about old school music. Go to some stores. Buy the Peach old sister. stereo systems. Buy some albums at the thrift store. Introduce that back to your family yeah. and children again. That's, that's hot. Bam. There That's it is. Hot. And check your That's history, mm-hmm. brothers and sisters, yeah. and other people. 
Say that again. Check your history. Check your history. Not, not history. Histories. Not his story. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you know, I think that's what I'm going to say next time somebody blows their horn at me real hard in traffic. Hey, fool, <laughs> check your histories. <laughs> and as we're saying that, he's trying to slide out on something, but I have a yeah, tune to go out on. Come on, brother. All right. So why don't you wrap the show out today? Let's give some thanks to our wonderful guests. Yes, yes. indeed. We want to uh, thank you, Onyx. Yeah, yeah. Onyx here. Monopoly. Such a joy. Wasn't this fun? Yeah, yes, it was fun. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Oh, we fun have other than that other stuff you're blast. doing, I'm sure. But that's okay. You can yes. come back here and have some more fun. We have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Tasha, I said, I said here, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. Coco host. Yeah, yeah Coco host. <laughs> and the ground goes wild. <laughs> and we got the black eyed soul brother over there. <laughs> Shock him. I like it. I the like the black eye soul brother. I like that. Thank yeah. you very much. Shock him over there. And let me give you a name. And we got watermelon man. <laughs> Can I give you a grasshopper? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a name. The beautiful Grand black Master. man. Hey. Ooh. The beautiful black man. <laughs> well, thank you, grass. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you have not seen the incredible pictures of Jerry Bell on his Facebook, mm-hmm. go to Facebook, Jerry Bell Daz, as in uh-huh. Daz Band, yep. and check out that photo library that brother did last week at the Grammy Awards. The squizzle, Man, the squizzle, I didn't even man. think I knew anybody that good looking <laughs> hey, thank until you, I met Onyx. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to get some brownie points. Yeah, don't blush for what I say. Though. All you can get is brownies. Wait the shot get to sing into you. I still can't. Anyway, Onyx, thanks. Big ups uh, hey, brother, to you, girl. You really plug me in, it. man. Uh, you are plugged in. Hold on. Let me just play out some, a, a little bit of Angie Stone. Let the sisters hear that. Let's find out where Onyx is going to go next. Onyx, you're going to you LA going Talk next? Live next. Right? In her old, own world. Go ahead. Uh, so, what are you doing? She just told me I look like Prince. Oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing oh, next? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just do the fro voice. thing. It's all good. Let Come on go. with it, Jerry. Okay. What I'm are you sorry. doing next? Tell us about what you got going on next. How folks can get in touch with you if they want to tap um, into your incredible mind. You can find me on YouTube under Onyx Monopoly or Onyx Unlimited. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, everything Onyx Unlimited or Onyx Mon- uh, Monopoly. Okay, cool. And you can find out what I'm doing next there. All right, very okay. good. Tasha said, it's so good to have you back, yes, man. Yes, I'm back in here. Tell us about what you're doing. We're going over time. Oh, man. Take I've been, the next I've half been hour. Featuring, yeah, I've been collabing with some hip-hop artists, um, featuring a lot of places I've been writing. Uh, so I'm just promoting my CD, Ascensions of a Goddess, on hey. Amazon hey. and iTunes. Hey. Who's, who's featured on it? Jerry, I have Jerry Bell. Hey. Hey. Yes, Karen McClain. Hey. Uh uh-huh. Couple of more wonderful artists right now. Uh, it's just a love, beautiful thing right now. So I'm just basking in this energy of mine going on. Right. Hopefully, I can uh, get shocked to do something with me. Oh boy! You know, you'll we'll wait forever. Oh. <laughs> well, look, oh, no. if shock doesn't come through. How oh, no, boy. please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, that, was, <laughs> that was classic. I hope y'all caught Tasha's face when I asked her. That was classic. That I'm is coming, so I'm bad. I'm for you, girl. Yeah. Find me on Facebook or TashaOfset.com, Twitter and Instagram. That's Tasha Offset, or you can find me right here on LA Talk Live. I'm on Jerry Bell show. I'm going to be on Shock show. Yeah. I'm be all over the, the place. Yeah. So good to see you. All right. And those earrings are hot. Thank uh, you. They Thank always you want to wear them? Tell them. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> tell them about your earrings. Oh, that you do. Hold on, fellas. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Among my many line. other, uh, the, my spoken word, I do design jewelry. Uh, these are a pair of my earrings. They're called Mars to Africa. So I do I very good thing. with one of these Girl, yeah, Did you say did. Mars to Africa? Mars to Africa. I'm blasting off tonight. All oh, right. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, we know. With that, <laughs> pillow, with yeah. that pillow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. These are my I baby just got the I image out of like my that, head. But it came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was fine, baby. I knew I'm I was still trying to figure out how the lipstick got in the room. I'm still confused. No woman. He went, he went oh, down no. to that. Uh, yeah. to that <laughs> he went down to the five and ten cents shock sure. factor every <laughs> Friday at eight p.m. Pacific every Friday, Standard time. Mm. Tell Pacific them about Standard it. time. We do the shock factor, and what we do is discuss so many particular topics, mainly music, music okay. business, and we talk about the everyday person mm-hmm. and that you know, the spirit. <laughs> right. You know what? <laughs> Ooh, that's my cue. <laughs> we talk about the spiritual aspects of self and you know building each other up All right. at the same time. But once again, I want to thank uh, Jerry Jerry Bell, incredible 
uh, work you, that you're doing. Thank you, and, and thank you for allowing me to come on hey, and brother. sit on. And Tasha, you're awesome as always. Thank you. When I complimented your earrings and Jerry said, do I want to wear them? She looked at me like, oh, no, you're not that guy. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're going to be in my trunk and I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to go grasshopper and some right. stick in there. <laughs> you're going to work this out today. Choke you with a pillow. <laughs> right. yeah. You will work it out today, but... It's, it's, it's such a pleasure to meet, uh, once again, an inspiring yes. lady as yourself, Onyx, too, as well. And uh, Richie Rich, uh, speak on it. I hope I can get Friday on that. 6 p.m. Pacific. I hope you Maybe come back Friday. next Friday. And your boy Friday. is, uh, um, your boy didn't make it today. He's in the Philippines. Ibrahim, is he really? Yeah, he's <laughs> having <laughs> Filipino love. Oh, right he nice. fell in love? <laughs> in the Philippines. <laughs> The you know, some, there's some beautiful people in the Philippines. Well, that's good stuff. I hope he's listening. We are so, global. so Jerry, what's better, Thailand or Philippines? Oh, Thailand. Thai, Thai is definitely. <laughs> Thailand. 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 Oh, Thai. so you've been there too? I've I witnessed from afar. Ooh. That's all I would say. And you know what? I'm, I'm done. sticking to it. I'm not even going to ask or elaborate. <laughs> Thailand, baby. Thailand. Thank you all so much for having me. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Fun. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to send this one out to you from the broadcasters and staff of LA Talk Live, and we're going to go out with this one. You cry? started it, Jerry. Am I'm going, going to cry? finish out with a little bit of Sarita. Yes, indeedy. So tell them what we're doing next week, Jerry. Next week, we are here on Jerry Bell's RB Soul Classics. We have a special guest I will not reveal, but stay tuned. Tune in, y'all. I uh, either come to Jerry Bell's uh, Jerry Bell Daz, and uh, you may get a taste of whom she is. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. And be sure to stay tuned. Coming up at 5 p.m. this evening, okay. right after the Jerry Bell show, mm -hmm. is the dialogue with Starla right. Quarles. Another right. most provocative topic. Be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome, brother. Thank you. God so bless much. you, brother, and Woo! congratulations. Oh, I thank you, man. Thank yeah, you, man. big ups to that. Yeah, thank All you. All right, and stay away from that pillow, man. <laughs> no way. I'm they going home to it right now. We're gonna come up with a song called "Pillow Love." <laughs> pillow Talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, love, love. All right, folks. We'll see you next week, same time, 2 p.m. Pacific time, for Jerry Bell's Soul R&B Classics. Stay tuned for dialogue with Starla Quarles.
We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk.